Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Warriors Wednesday, a weekly exploration of Koei Tecmo and Omega Force's long-running Warriors series. Today, we're continuing our seemingly never-ending playthrough of Warriors Orochi on the Xbox 360. I've been pondering what to do with these intro sequences, because I don't want to be saying exactly the same thing every time, otherwise there's no point really, is there? So I thought we might take the time to get to know some of the characters we're seeing in these episodes. Today I thought we'd take a look at Ginchio Tachibana, who we unlocked after the first episode of the Shu campaign, and we had a bit of fun with last time, and indeed we have a bit of fun with today as well. Ginchio Tachibana was the daughter of Tachibana Dosetsu, uh, and she was made the head of her family because Dosetsu didn't have any sons. That was obviously quite unusual at the time, but she, was, she quickly proved herself to be a very powerful woman. She was sort of leading the clan at about six years old, and sort of training up the maidens of her household to be um, very strong, powerful women. So and there's, uh, there's plenty of that sort of thing in Warriors Orochi as well. Uh, she was known as the Goddess of Thunder um, due to a sort of um, an heirloom, a sword that was passed down from father to daughter. Uh, the sword was known as Raikiri or Lightning Cutter. And uh, that explains why so many of her attacks are lightning based and why her sword is all zappy. Um, she is noteworthy in the grand context of the Warriors series in that she was the first female character to wield a sword, uh, which I didn't realise. Um, her first appearance was in Samurai Warriors 2 in 2006, and considering how long the Warriors series has been running, it is quite surprising that it took that long for a female character to be wielding a sword. So up until that point we had things like um, Sun Shang Shang uh, with her wheels, and all sorts of other weird and wonderful weapons. But uh, yeah, Ginchio Tachibana was the first warrior's warrior, or female warrior's warrior, I should say, to wield a sword. So that's interesting, isn't it? No? Well, whatever. Let's go play Warriors Orochi, shall we? Okay, here we are again with the Shu campaign. So last time around, we had a bit of a play with Ginchio Tachibana, who turned out to be quite an entertaining character to play as. So um, depending on her abilities, I may well keep her in there. Uh, first thing to do, as always, is check what we've got uh, to level them up a bit. So, ability acquisition for Tachibana. Focus increases Musou gauge capacity. Mm. Don't use a lot of Musou attacks, um, but it's it's more a case of um, what does she have after that for her later abilities, I think. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep on with her for the minute, just because she's quite fun to play as. And... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. It was an early belch, wasn't it? Uh, Jingsai. Fortitude. Strength of defense. Definitely worthwhile. Defeat 180 enemies within 6 minutes of the start of the battle. Yes, please. And hammer time. He is done. And so, in fact, we could probably kick him out if we wanted to. Who have we got available now? So, Tachibana and him from Samurai Warriors 2. Oh, we got Pimp Boy. Oh, he's Technique, though. I don't really want to mix all three types of characters, because that wastes ability slots. No one in Other, no one in Woo, no one in Wii. I suppose you could... Oh, no, he's Tech as well. I think we might have to suck it up. Let's see what Xiaoyun's got you left to unlock. Oh, another Fortitude. Yeah, that's definitely worth having. Um, okay. With that in mind, then. Um, so we've currently got Speed and Power being boosted. And we have Potence, Vitality, and Fortitude. Uh, I don't want to leave any of those behind, really. Let's take Speed out, because that's the lowest one. Uh, or does that mean we should leave it in? Oh, I don't know. Fuck it, we'll put technique in. Um, right, a bit of weapon fusion, assuming we've actually got any weapons to fuse this time. Tachibana has a few bits and bobs. No flash, that's a shame. Um, but let's start with that one. And add some slots and some attack. And then, what does Brave do? Increase attack strength against enemy officers. Yes, 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 that's very nice. We'll have that, definitely. 
Add some slots. Yes. And finally, fuse with this one. A bit more bolt. Rage, I don't really rate, but we'll put it on there for now anyway. Might as well. Okay, so that takes care of her. Uh, Shinksai. You got a big empty weapon there. Ooh, there's some flash there. Okay, so we'll take that one and we will put flash in a really weird slot. Because I'm not paying attention. And fuse this with all the others. I know it's probably not worth taking the time to do this on the tier 1 weapons, but, well, we can always carry over some of those upgrades onto, onto later uh, weapons when we get them. Uh, Zhao Yun, and you have absolute garbage. So, great, great, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so, how are we doing on levels? Zhao Yun is 13, Xing Sai is 21, and Tachibana is 22. So, let's pump up um, Zhao Yun a bit. He deserves it. And Ching Sai, you can have the rest. There we go. Lovely. Right. So, just to confirm. Tachibana needs to defeat 80 enemies within 12 minutes. Ching Sai needs to defeat 180 enemies within 6 minutes. So, she's definitely going first. And Xiao Yun needs to... Oh, God. Um... <clears throat> this might be tricky. Well, we only one way to find out, isn't there? So, Xing Sai first, then Zhao Yun, then um, Tachibana. Gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was a big one. Um, anyway, let's do some fighting, shall we? Yes, let's do that. Right, chapter 2x today. Ambush at Nanchong. Lure your enemy into an ambush and work with your allies to obliterate them. Sure. I'm more than happy to do that. Zhao Yun had escaped from Ueda Castle, only to be confronted with the soldiers of the Orochi army. Oh no. Having heard of Zhao Yun's plight, Jiang Wei arrived to assist. Nevertheless, Orochi's army far outnumbered the coalition. Total annihilation appeared the most likely result. In the nick of time, however, Yoshihiro Shimazu suggested a plan for making the most of their minimal resources. Hmm. That's exciting. So, what have we got to do? Defeat Shanghai and Dachau. All right. Fair enough. Let's do it. Lord Zhao Yun. Oh, I don't think I've heard this music before. Through here? The road ahead is blocked by the enemy. It may be difficult to proceed. Then we should lure them out and hammer them flat. Lure them out. Mm, I like the way you think. My troops shall lie in wait, and we'll spring the trap on your command. Time to set the bait. Bizarre sort of Donkey Kong music going on. <laughs> I found the enemy. Don't let them get away. I guess we're being a decoy. Look out! Here I come. Your selfish rampage is at an end. Where are we trying to get him to? I'm confused. I wasn't paying attention. Um, so there's the ambush point over there. 
We're supposed to avoid battle. I don't think we're going to get these abilities this time, you know? What with this having to avoid battle? What is this? There they are! Get them! Come on! Out you come! Here, fishy, fishy. Okay, so the ambush point's here. So as long as they get here, why aren't they moving? You're all a bunch of dickheads! 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 Fight me! Fight me! You're all a bunch of cocks! There we go. I got their attention. Where did they get to? All right, so that's one. So we've got to go and help out with that one down there now as well. Maybe I'll get a few kills on the way. Can't hurt, can it? I still don't think uh, we're going to uh, do too well on this. We got three minutes and five seconds and 161 kills to get in there. So I don't think that's going to happen with the way this mission is structured. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Brace yourself. You want to fight? Then fight. Show Fang is a bellend. Ninjin is a twat. You're all a bunch of smelly penises. These were suggested insults to lure out enemies, as written in Sun Tzu's The Art of War, I think you'll find. He very much advocated the use of you are a bunch of smelly penises to uh, attract the enemy's attention. When you're setting up an ambush, all codes of honor, morality, politeness, that sort of nonsense, all of that goes out the window. Damn, they can't I'm right over here. Far. You are dumb. They've bitten. Now's our chance. Ah, they're on the hook. Beat them to pieces. The enemy all right, kill them all. Kill them all! That is most devious. Troops, retreat to the southwest. You're in my way. How are we doing on time? Hmm. One minute three for 117. Not gonna happen, is it? Maybe I should just cut my losses. And the showing you still got five minutes. Oh, but I like Shinsai. Oh well. Alright. Come on, Zhao Yun. Show us your stuff. Victory is mine. I have some catching up to do. I am powerful. Victory is mine. Impressive. You do not require nope, strategy. just a big stick. Or a fork. Something I can poke smelly penises with. As is the ancient way of the warrior. Oh, 
Escape is our only option. Victory is mine. I have some catching up to do. Here I come. Hit him. I like how in a lot of these missions, like, the guy you're supposed to protect in order to make sure you don't fail the mission is just some random dude you've heard absolutely nothing about up until this point. But it's fine. It's fine. We're not really here for historical accuracy, are we? I mean, look at it. You killed my friend! He wasn't my friend, he didn't have a name, but I don't care, you killed him nonetheless. So I will kill all of you! We literally gotta kill all of these. I think we have. Or are they just retreating? Oh well. Needs must. If all else fails, follow the NPCs. They tend to know where they're going. Base for us. And some shoes. My shoes are nice. How's the ability looking? 44 seconds to get 33 KOs. It's not beyond the realm of possibility. But I don't think we're going to do it. Up with the arrows. Oh, I did it. Well, not a completely wasted effort then. How is Tachibana looking? 80 within 12 minutes. She got 1 minute 53 to do that. It's not impossible. It's probably impossible, but I'll give it a go. Lord Shimazu. He must be a legendary figure where you come from. You clearly have no eye for talent. Did I say something inappropriate?
All right, move, move, move. You've got killing to do. Don't. I said don't. All right, nice big group of them down here. Oh, she's so good, like, especially with those added abilities as well. She's now just setting fire to everyone, as well as zapping them. Get ready to taste my steel. Get ready to taste my lightning bolt. Right, ignore the officers for now. Let's see if we can get those kills we need. There it is! Ah! Oh. Well, just Shingsai, he didn't get her ability then, and I'm not too upset about that. We can always do that next time. And an additional two abilities is definitely worthwhile progress. Don't be weird, old man. Impressive. You do not require she will stab you with her lightning sword, and you won't like it. So satisfying. So satisfying. This character is the essence. The essence of why Warriors is fun. Let's look at the absolute chaos she is unleashing with every combo. Oh, so good. Yes. I like how Dacho is so surprised about a woman being strong when she's quite happily taking to the battlefield and kicking the shit out of everyone as well. But, well, I think we can agree that uh, Tachibana is a bit more of a formidable figure than Dacho is. I will bring some colour to this field of war. You are supposed to be a woman. Where is your sense of grace? You're supposed to be a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, you couldn't have got a better matchup than these two, could you? Require strategy. Their commander is defeated. We must take this chance to. Oh, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Found an army I can be a part of. Please let me. Sure, more characters are always welcome, especially when they get me achievements. I don't know when we do our next achievement for uh, character acquisition. Good work, team. Nice, nice. Oh, 
Well, there we go. There's uh, some achievements. So two for 50 Gs. Let's just have a look at what those are. Uh, so we've now got a total ability level of 80 or higher. And we've got 40 or more officers unlocked. Pretty good. Happy with that. All right. So that's that for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.